Welcome to the transducer and instrumentation virtual lab. Now we are moving towards the experiment number 9, study of pressure measurement using Borden tube gauge. Now run the experiment through run tab and start the experiment through start button. Select the weight from the drop down menu. Suppose you select the 100 LB weight, then that 100 LB weight will come and rest on the piston. Due to that pressure will be applied and the curve of the Borden tube expands and the needle connected to the curve moves and will indicate the pressure applied. Now note down the corresponding reading of pressure through indicator of pressure applied. As you can see the actual pressure is 50 and the measured pressure computes to 49.4. Now suppose you select the 200 LB weight. Then 200 LB weight will come and rest on the piston due to that pressure will be applied and the curve of the Borden tube expands and the needle connected to the curve moves and will indicate the pressure applied. Now the actual pressure and the measured pressure has been indicated through the meter indicator as well as through numeric indicators. Similarly you can do it for 300-400 LB weights. Note down the readings of the pressure at different rates. Graph has also been plotted between the actual and measured pressure. Displacement in the Borden tube is also calculated as, as shown in the numeric indicator. In the right hand side, you can see the specification of components used in the experimental setup. Procedure is also given below to perform the experiment step by step. After completing the experiment, click on the stop tab. I hope you all have understood the purpose and the process of pressure measurement using Borden tube. You can go through the experiment and documentation given in our website. Lastly, I like to say thank to all of you for listening this audio tutorial. Thank you.